Tuko mambaki na nyimbo Twende, twende sayuni Twende, twende kwa baba Yani wewe mambaki na nyimbo peke yake Shetana ame kuimbia mali Ame kuimbia ndoa Ame kuimbia apia Wewe ni mtu wa magojo kila wakati Leo hii tutaenda kukamata Uyo mwenye kukamatia hanga yako Praise the Lord Chema leo hii Kila nguvu inao kamata maisha yangu Lazima iniachilie Katika jina la Yesu Kristo Praise the Lord Sema nitaendelea vizuri Wapende wasipende Sema nitaendelea vizuri Wapende wasipende Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo So unapata kwamba Kuna wengine unapatanga kwamba Hakuna kitu yao inafanya Kama ni afya ni mbaya Kama ni kiroo chao Hakuna kitu Kama ni maendelo hayana chochote Ya unapata kwamba huyu mtu Totally is already subdued by devils Ya na mekaliwa kabisa Karika kila aspect ya maisha Inaomba mungu afungue mtu siku ya leo Praise the Lord Sema itafaulu Katika jida na Yesu Christo So Jesus has done everything for you To live a victorious Christian life but for you to enjoy those blessings, you must enforce it through prayer and obedience to the word of God and your service. Yani Yesu Christo, amefanya kila kitu. Bibi ya sema kwamba, ametumbariki na baraka zote katika roho. Kila baraka mbao na itaji, mbona Yesu ameyachilea. Kuna kumbuka Danieli anaomba Na mungu anachilia baraka yake Lakini kuna tokea Roo ya mpinzani Inapinga baraka zake Katika ulimwengu wa rooni Inakamata baraka yake Na unapata kwamba Danieli Hinjapokuwa amepata baraka Yani mungu ameyachilia hiyo baraka Katika ulimwengu wa rooni Shetani ameyarest katika ulimwengu wa roo Nimesama mara si moja ya kwamba Kuna watu mungu akikuangalia Wakati na omba ya sama baba katika jina la yesu Hina kuamini kwa milioni moja Hina kuamini ni una kuamini Hulipatia mpesa ni jenga nyumba Mungu anaangalia na sindu wa na huyu Anakuanga dunia gani Mana hiyo kitu na omba Ilisha achiliwa katika maisha yako Ilisha achiliwa katika anga Danieli ya mungu, malaika wa mungu anamambia kwamba Tangia siku ya kwanza ulipoenda kuomba Maombi yako yalisikika Na baraka yako ikaachiliwa Lakini mkuu wa anga alizuia hiyo baraka katika ule mungu wa roo Kwa maana lataka nilewa yawa kwamba Baraka zetu uwa sinaanza rooni Maana huwa zinaanza na mungu Mungu anachilia Bibi ya sema kwamba Jicho alijaona uh, Inasema kwamba Jicho alijaona Sikio alijasikia Wala kuingia katika mole wa manadamu Yale mungu amewawekea Wale ambo wanampenda So already Mujiza wako Ulisha tengenezwa Wengine ukaachiliwa Maana mungu aendelei kuunda mujiza wako Amesha utengeneza Akawaka kwa stop wa wengine Na wengine ukaachiliwa Praise the Lord Kwa kila mzazi Anapoza mtoto uwa Anampatia bitu kulingana Na uzalio nao Ukiona mtoto wa mtu tajiri Akizaliwa siku ila metoka matani titu Anapandanga ngari Kulingana na rebo ya mzazi wake Kama mzazi ya kuna rejiroba Mtoto kitoto cha masaha Kinaanza kupanda rejiroba Wakati mtu mzima Ana watoto wa kuna ndevu Na ajawai panda ata akapewa lift na rejiroba Wana asifiwe Wana asifiwe Na wakati mungu anakuzaa Katika roo maana yae membarikiwa Huwa anaanda baraka zako na anaanza kuziachilia kuligana vile unandelea kukua katika mungu The more you are growing in the Lord Tiyo mungu anachiliaga baraka ndiyo binyana sema kwamba 
Muridi akiwa angali ni mtoto baraka zake au urithi wake unakaa na managers until when they grow up to be able to handle their inheritance praise the lord eh bwana asifiwe sana so the more you are growing in the lord the more god releases your blessing per level kila level ya akili kukua unanea the more you are growing in the lord the more you are knowing god the deeper you are going in god the deeper and the more he releases your blessing so anaachilianga baraka zako in tons praise the lord bwana asifiwe maandiko yamesemaje yanasema kwamba mridhi akiwa angali ni mtoto unajua inawezekana katika mungu ya kwamba ukawa wewe ni mzee physically but in the things of the spirit katika mambo ya rohoni ukawa wewe ni mtoto kulingana vile una behave na vile una ando mambo ya mungu maana mtoto anajulikana ni mtoto kulingana vile anajibeba kulingana jinsi ana behave kulingana jinsi anavyowaza so katika mambo ya mungu nayo baada ya kuokoka Mungu naye anakuangalia tu anaweka malaika wale wako in charge ya baraka yako mpaka utakapokomaa na ndio naona ya kwamba wanaokataa kukomaa katika Bwana hao watu wanaendelea kukaa katika hali ya kufinyika maana jinsi unavyokomaa katika Bwana ndipo utazidi kumtii hata wakati wa mangumu Bwana asifiwe Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana Sema Bwana Mungu naomba baraka yako. Naomba baraka yangu isuke kwangu katika jina la Yesu. Sema mwaka huu nitaongeza maarifa na nitaenda ndani katika Bwana paka baraka yangu ikuje. Praise the Lord. So kuna watu ambao Mungu ameshamalizana baraka yako na akaipatia malaika hao ndio wanakuanga managers pinguni na akawaambia wakati huyu atakomaa na awe anaweza kaniti unconditionally wakati wa mangumu na wakati wa mamba, wa mazuri basi huyo mtu ndio utaachilia kiwango hiki cha baraka but kwa sasa achilia kiwango kidogo tu ya kwanza anatestiwa kuna watu wengine wanakuwa tested ndio unaona ya kwamba kuna hata wazazi unapatanga kwamba wakati wamezaa watoto hawa kuna kama kama yako kuna gari kwa mfano Range Rover na Toyota Axio na tungi tu Corolla anaanzanga na kupatia mtoto ka Corolla ka Axio anatembea nako anaona ameenda amerudi aja kamaru na polisi aja misbehave siku ile nyingine pili anaendelea hivyo hivyo na kukua trusted atakuta kupewa Mercedes Benz. Unakutana na mtoto mdogo anaeleza Mercedes Benz. Hivyo hivyo tabia ya Mungu ni kama ya wanadamu tu hivyo hivyo tu. Maana kuna vitu Mungu awezi akakupatia until you mature in the things of God. Bwana asifiwe sana. Bwana aweza asifiwe sana. Kuna vitu Mungu awezi achilia katika mikono yako paka utakapokomaa naona ya kwamba huyu mtu amekomaa kiwango cha kuwa sasa anaweza akaanda vitu vikubwa ndio bibi anasema kwamba asiyekuwa mwaminifu kwa kidogo hawezi akaaminiwa na nyingi bwana asifiwe praise the lord unajua mimi nilikuwa naona nikiwa mdogo naweza kupewa pesa na ukipata shilingi ya hamsini tukua wa ndogo nilikuwa naona hamsini ilikuwa pesa nyingi Unaona mimi nitakula mpaka tumbo nirudi kishibiana. Sasa kama umepewa 50 ukakurudi tumbo imeshibiana. Mzazi angepatia mia, si utakula na ukunywe pombe. Hata ujaribu mpaka. So mzazi anaangalia kupingolingana na lebo yako. So Biblia inasema kwamba asiye aminika kwa kidogo hawezi akaaminika na nyingi. So the, 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 the more you grow in God and the more you you qualify yani wakati ambapo the more na qualify 
katika haya mambo ya uaminifu maana Mungu ana nini na sisi kulingana na level yetu ya, ya uaminifu wetu so the more you qualify kwa faithfulness Mungu anasema kwamba you get more you get more ataenda akiongeza kulingana na faithfulness yetu hebu ndio niko na wako sema katika jina la Yesu mwaka huu nitaaminika kwa jina la Yesu nitaaminika praise the lord so uaminifu wako unakupatia another face uaminifu wako unakufungulia mlango mwingine zaidi so the ipo hivyo pole 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 and by so doing unajipata uko mahali pa juu kabisa praise the lord sema bwana nisaidie katika mwaka huu katika jina la Yesu Kristo So anasema uendelee vyema kwa mambo yote uwe na afya yako kama vile nafsi yako inavyoendelea Na mimi nataka niseme ya kwamba kuna watu wana seto kwa kidogo sana na unapata ya kwamba katika level ya chini mtu ajisumbui kusoma Biblia ajisumbui kuomba ajisumbui kufika katika nyumba ya Bwana Mungu anaangalia tu anajua ya kwamba huyu kwali kama hata baiskeri mbovu ana na hawezi kuingia katika nyumba yangu on time na hawezi kutulia na akawa mwaminifu wakati ya hii level pia nikupatia level ya juu huyu mtu ataharibika kabisa Mungu anaongopa anaona ya kwamba ni heri akuwe na nafsi yako kuliko kukupatia uishe Mungu atusaidie katika jina la Yesu Sema Bwana nisaidie So any time God, God wants to carry out an assignment he looks for a man. Unaona wakati wote Mungu anataka kufanya chochote duniani. Mungu hawezi kuja kama hawezi kuja. Kwa maana yeye ako katika ulimwengu wa roho. Nime nasikia kwa watu wanaomba maombi. Baba naomba ushuke mwenyewe na usitumane. Hiyo maombi ni erratic ati Mungu ashuka mwenyewe na azitumane. Kwani Biblia inasemaje? Kwenye kitabu cha Luka mlango wa sita mstari wa 38 Luke chapter 6 verse 8 Give it shall be given back to you a good measure pressed down shaken together shall men shall men. not go shall, not shall God give no shall men give to your bosom for with the same measure you met for others the same measure shall be met to you or for you so wakati ambapo Mungu anataka kukuponya anatumanga mtu anampatia kipawa cha uponyaji ukicooperate kwake ukikuwa submissive na uweje kuwa arrogant Yaani tuwe unaona ya kwamba mtu anakuwa arrogant. Kwa watumishi wa Mungu kuna watu kusema ukweli until attitude yao wabadilishe, hawawezi wakapona. No matter where you go, nilikuwa naongea na mzee mmoja na baadaye alikufa. Yule mzee alikuwa ananiambia pastor, mimi hakuna muumbile aliyeniombea. Nimeombewa na Beni hii nimeombewa na nani nimeombewa na nani watu wote wako na majina hata yule mhubiri alikufa aliitwa TB Joshua asema yeye nimefurahi nimeenda mpaka kwake nikaombewa but baada ya kumsikiliza nilikuja ku realize ya kwamba roho ya pride ilimzuia kufaulu ilimzuia kupata uponyaji because unaona ninasema kwamba kuna watu kama auwezi ukambadilisha attitude yako kuhusu watumishi wa Bwana kuna vitu hautawahi pata kuhusu watumishi wa Mungu bila nasema ya kwamba inasema kwamba watini wanaoaongoza katika Bwana na mupate kuwanyenyekea kama wala watakaye toa hesabu mbele za Bwana kwa ajili ya nafsi yako maana wanakesha na kuomba kwa ajili ya nafsi zenu. Is it the book of uh, the kitabu cha Waebrania? 
Hebrews chapter is it, is it 3 verse 17 kuna watu wanapata kwamba attitude yao kuhusu watumishi wa Bwana ni ndio wrong na kufaulu inakuwa ni challenge kwao Hebrews chapter 3 Verse 17. Is it chapter 3? Aha. Uh, uh, chapter Kwa msari wewe natafuta tu uh, 13 sorry. Chapter 13 verse uh, 17 sorry. Kwa Hebrewia 13 mstari mlo wa 17 Biblia nasema obey them that have the rule over you and submit yourselves for the watch for your souls as they that must give account that they may do it with joy and not with grief for that is unprofitable for you not unprofitable to them but to you Anasema kwamba mwatii wale wanaoongoza na kuwanyenyekea kwa maana wao wanakesha kwa ajili ya nafsi zenu na tena watatoa hesabu ya nafsi zenu ili wafanye hiyo kazi ya kuwaongoza kwa furaha na si kwa kuhuzunika au kwa kuhungua kwa maana haitakuwa faida kwenu So ile mzee tulipokuwa tukiongea nikaona kwamba raw ya, ya pride ya uso wake tu spirit of pride unajua kuokoka miaka nyingi si kumaanisha kuna vitu unajua kila kitu na jinsi unazidi kukaa katika Bwana ndipo unazidi kumjua zaidi The more you know the, the more you live you stay in Jesus the more you know him in and the deeper you grow in revelation Na the more unaishi katika Mungu ndio unajua haumjui Praise the Lord Praise the Lord So nikaona ule mzee tulipokuwa tukiongea unaona mimi naona tu vile anania dress bado mimi nikafikiri mimi anaona mimi ni mdogo nikampelekea bishop that the, the way anamuandress na hata anapotoka hapo the way anamuandress nikajua shida huyu mtu ni pride na kuna watu roho ya kiburi imesaba yani imetumiwa na shetani kuweza kukambata baraka zao kukamata maendeleo yao yani kiburi inawezekana ya kwamba hautatusi mtumishi wa Mungu na utajivuna openly lakini baada ya kupokea mashauri na baada ya kupokea neno la Mungu the way you behave after the instruction maana pride ina i know everything pride ina, inaambianga mtu ya kwamba sio lazima nifanye hivyo ameniambia i can do another thing wakati wote hata wale watu tuko hapa zote kama utawahi kwenda kwa daktari yako akuwe ni, ni personal physician na wende kuandikia prescription na amekupima ameona una ugonjwa fulani na akueleze hii ndio ndawa utakunywa one times two uchukua hiyo ndawa useme nonsense useme nilakunywa bila najisikia utakufa kama ule mtu hata daktari na kuna watu ambaye Mungu amewapatia watumishi wa Mungu wanafungua watu wengine lakini wao wenyewe kufunguliwa ni shida si kwa sababu watumishi wa Mungu hawataki kuwafungua lakini kwa sababu you have said I, I, I must have my own way lazima nifanye kila nataka kufanya nasema kwamba kama lazima ufanikiwe Biblia imesema kwamba obey them that have rule over you and submit kuwa submit submissive binamaanisha kwamba wao wanapata kwamba chochote wanapokuelekeza katika Bwana bora si dhambi wamekuelekeza katika Bwana utaifanya bila kungangana 
then you rest in God. You rest in the revelation that they have. And you are able to take the instructions without questioning. Praise the Lord. Hey, Bwana Yesu asipe sana. Sema Bwana nisaidie. Sema Bwana nisaidie ili nipate kufanikiwa. So kuna watu napata kwamba hajawahi tukana mtumishi wa Mungu lakini bila uwa anachukua instruction za madhabahu kiolela olela inakuwa ni challenge kwake. Hebu tuende kwenye kitabu cha uh, Deuteronomy chapter Deuteronomy chapter 17 verses 12 Kuna kitu kidogo tu nataka tuone kabla tujaomba Unajua Awezi uka substitute Maombi na obedience Yani unajua ku substitute na manisha ya kwamba Mahali pa obedience Ukaweka prayer Na mahali pa prayer ukapata kwamba pamembaki yani unapata kwamba yani mahali badala ya kuombei badala ya kutii unapata kwamba umeweka ombi sasa hiyo ukisubstitute obedience with prayer it will be a challenge the Torah 17 verses 12 we are sema and is the man that will do willingly or presumptuously and you will not hearken unto the priest that standeth to minister there before the Lord thy God or unto the judge even that man shall die and thou shalt put away the evil from Israel yani biya sema kwamba mutu ya yote ambaye atakinai nafsi yake yani ataamua kwa kupenda ni biya meamua to willingly Kumasema kwamba, I've heard the word of God, but I will do what I think. Wana asipe sana. Ni ukwali mbibilia imesema hibi. Ni ukwali mutumishu wa mungu amenieleza hibi. Lakini sasa, kwa kutaka kwangu, baada kuwa nimejua, mitafanya vile nataka. Bibilia nasema hibi. Bibilia nasema kwamba, uyo mtu atakufa. Wana aiza sifiwe. So kuna watu utapata kwamba Physically you are not dead But in the spirit Katika mamba ya rooni Ushikangi Yani we tibi yako katika ule mwengu wa roo Inashikanga mchele mchele Ya wezi ona maono hata ya kukusaidia Yodo na watu wengi Unaona mtu wa meokoka Miaka yote ajawa yona Hata positive dream Anaolanga dream zile tuza kumusumbua Utaona maro na kimbizo na panga Umeona utaona umeokoka na unakula mira Sasa <laughs> Yeni umuto umeokoka Lagi anakula mira Unasina na hini tato mdia inagani Na mimi ni mwanamuke Mimi unawana wawo umeokoka Lakini ujawai kula mira Tangu zaliwe Ujawai puta zigara Ama ujawai kunyo pombe Lakini unawana katika mdoto Unastaga yaani unakume Kunyo pombe hiyo usiku Ama kama hata uliwai kunyo Mbaada kuwakoka ukunyuangi Lakini unaona katika ndoto, wewe meanza kuona kekunyo pombe. Kuyaanza kuona katika ndrimi yako, yani unaona, unaona ya kwamba unafanya vile vitu vya kenyume. Kuyaona wewe ni mbibi ya mtu. Ama wewe ni msichana tu meokoka bizuri. Lakini unaona umekatiwa, 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 ukakatika, 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 ukakatika. Una... Hmm? Ujai vanya hata usharatu kwa muzitu. Lakini unaona siku hiyo umevanya muziko. Unaamuka za hilo na basi ruali. Kuna sinu, what is wrong with me? Hiyo ni tatu ya inagani? Seba shetani ya shidwe. Ah, seba shetani ya shidwe. Seba shetani ya shidwe. Yani yu, mile ntoto unaotanga. We, yanu unaotanga zile tu mtoto zenye. Kapisa utamuka ujulisa ngai kwa ni mimbado ni meokoka kweli. Kuna ntoto tu unaotanga hata wana uliza kwa ni mimi ni meokoka. Huh? Na wana ni mbibi ya mtu. Na wea ni msichana mzuri, unatumikia mungu. Wea ni kijana mzuri katika nyupa ya bwana. But the dreams that you keep on dreaming, you are dreaming the dreams of a backslider. Iyo inakuambiaji, you are dead in the spirit. 
you are dead in the spirit maana wakati roho yako iko hai wakati ambapo unaota ndoto utaota ndoto nzuri ndoto ya maendeleo ndoto na ubiri hata kama hujaishi kama microphone utaota unaona unaondesha gari lako unaota unahubiri unaota unapiga praise and worship ibada sana ijapokuwa wewe si mtumishi ama hata hujaingia katika hiyo level kama utaota umeomba sana utaota umejenga nyumba yako nzuri utaota unaolewa na harusi lakini hiyo ya kuota umelala kwa msitu hiyo unaotanga wewe saa yote uko kwa kaburi inakuambia kwamba there is a disconnect in the spirit na that disconnect sasa shetani anaitumia kupamoa maisha yako why maana willingly baada kujua neno la Mungu ulikataa kulitii so you die spiritually sema oh lord i refuse to die spiritually in the name of jesus praise the lord na mimi nakwambia wa kristo wengi wamekufa rohoni that is why utaona hata ukikemea mapepo ule ikemea inakuangalia na kuuliza yesu namjua na reverend alex namjua who are you watoto wa skeba walikuwa unajua skeba alikuwa ni priest baba yao alikuwa ni, ni kwani lakini walipoenda kukemea pepo pepo ikawaangalia maana walisema walisema tunakukemea kwa jina la Yesu ambaye Paulo anahubiri mapepo ikawaangalia ikawachekelea ikawauliza Paulo namjua Yesu namjua nyinyi ni yake na nani na immediately by the time wanamaliza ile swali wakakamata wale wa jamaa wakawala rolea nguo walifika nyumbani wamejizuia huko hapo wana nguo bila asema kwamba wakalarudua manguo wakaenda uchi kwa hiyo kristo anapata hata ameokoka they cannot dare to cast a demon hawezi kumbali hauza wewe pastor hiyo ni ya ma, ni ya makuani hiyo ni hiyo ni hawatumishi wale wanaelewa mambo ya deliverance yes ngoma pepo lakini Yesu anasema namna gani mito wa kuoma pepo si wa mitume peke yake na manabii na wachungaji hapana Yesu anasema kwa jina langu watakayeamini kwa jina langu watakayeokoka watangoa pepo hiyo ndio kitu ya kwanza na jambo la pili wataongea kwa ndimi namba ya tatu watawekelewa wagonja mikono na watapata afya wale watakae amini praise the lord praise the lord so wa kristo wengi hawana authority ya kuona pepo kwa sababu hawana mamlaka walishakufa rohoni Mungu atusaidie kanisa la leo lazima lerudi katika msingi wa kwanza praise the lord the first love when god spoke and you took that instruction immediately without question mark bila kuuliza swali wakafanya kazi praise the lord sema bwana nisaidie unajua bila anasema kwamba kwa yeye ambaye anajua ukweli na ukweli aujuae autendi kwake huyo mtu ni dhambi so unajua kuna watu wengine wanasema kwamba oh, sijafanya usharati sijaibia mtu sijafanya tazoti sijatukana na mtu sijasengenya mtu lakini kuna ukweli wa biblia unaujua na ulikataa kufanya ukijua lakini ulikataa sasa hapo ndio kuna kuwa na shida na jeremaya Mungu anamwambia kwamba kwaambie hao watu wasifunge wasiombe na usiwaombe wala usifunga kwa ajili yao maana nilipowaita hawakunitii na mimi sitasikia maombi yao. So kuna watu wanafunga 40 days, 42 days, 21 days. Mungu anasema kwamba hata ukipiga nduru kama chura sitakusikia kwa maana nilikuita, nilikuongelesha na ulikataa. Kama ulikataa instruction ya kwanza, hata ya pili utasikia. Praise the Lord. So disobedience to the instruction of the order can become a an arrestor of your progress praise the lord can you go to the book of james 
kitabu cha James James ni Yakobo kwa wale wako kwa Kiswahili James Aha James chapter 4 verse 17 Anasema hivi Therefore to him that knoweth to do good and doeth it not to him it is sin Kwake yeye ajue kutenda wema na huo wema anayojua autendi kwa huyo mtu ni dhambi So kuna watu napata kwamba huyu mtu Mungu ameweka baraka zote Anasema ameweka baraka zote kwa ajili yetu lakini kwa maana Mungu anaoperate katika roho lazima uoperate katika channel ya obedience utiifu praise the lord pia ukipitia hiyo channel utakutana na yeye anasema kwenye kitabu cha job is it job chapter 11 verses that uh, so chapter 36 verses 11 anasema kwamba if they obey and serve him they shall spend their days in prosperity they shall they shall spend their days in prosperity if they obey and serve they obey and serve ya yote ambaye anatii Mungu umtumikia na si wakati unaangaliwa na si wakati pasta anakuangalia hapana ni wakati wote ambapo Mungu amesema jambo lolote wewe unatumika yani unapata kwamba you obey you serve you obey you serve anasema kwamba if they obey and serve him they shall spend their years in prosperity and their latter days in what can we check that naendelea kukamilisha leo ili ni kuombee leo hii nasikia neema ya kitofauti ya kukuombea praise the lord praise the lord that is job chapter 36 verse 11 Job 36 11 kwa kizungu kwa Kiswahili ni Ayubu mlango wa 36 msara wa 11 anasema if they obey and serve him they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasures yani wata wata lazima kwamba wale kama watamtii na kumtumikia watapisha siku zao katika kufanikiwa na miaka yao ya uzeeni katika raha Let me say this kutumikia Mungu ukiwa ungali una nguvu ni kupisha siku zako katika afya Praise the Lord Because how can you live in pleasures when you do not have good health So anasema kwamba they shall spend their days in prosperity prosperity meaning they will be progressing they shall be moving from one level to another from glory to glory from shame to glory and from strength to strength bana sipe sana praise the lord so anasema kwamba watapisha siku zao katika kufanikiwa na siku miaka yao ya uzeeni katika raha Sema Bwana nisaidie. Sema Bwana nisaidie. Nipe siri ya kufanikiwa na kuishi na afya katika jina la Yesu Kristo. So kwake yeye ajue kutenda mema na anakataa kutenda wema anayejua anaishi katika dhambi. Na kwa sababu ya hiyo utapisha siku zako katika umaskini. See that is the opposite. That is the opposite. Inamaanisha kwamba 